you need to listen to this machine. It is so loud and it is certainly doing some heavy roughing here, isn't it, Paul? Well, yeah, it's high feed milling. Now, this is a new VCN 700. Ooh. I first saw this machine at Emo. Um, they've identified this as an area that they, they needed a, a machine of this size, this capacity. And for, uh, you know, maybe the diamond mold industry, you've got 700 millimetres in the Y-axis on this machine. One of the core elements to why they developed it and one of the, the main features of the product itself. Ultimately adding capacity. Now, what I find with Mazak as a brand and after speaking to the team here is the fact that, is there a machine that they don't do? No, and I mean, th this, this one has been developed it's so interesting to hear the guys talk about how they've researched the market yep. and they talk to their customers and they talk to uh, you know the CAD CAM companies and they try to find out what new strategies are being adopted um, in the machining world. Yep. And when they find out what those strategies are, they'll then try and build a machine, in, as they have in this instance, to support that strategy. I would say that is being at the forefront of technology. It is, and, and, and here's the reason you can hear it cutting. I mean, this has been geared around sort of high feed milling, dynamic milling. Now that's a strategy that people are incorporating these days for metal removal. You know, high feed rates, trachoidal uh, cuts. And this machine has been built in order to cope with that, but also to provide that in a machining environment. Now I know you're going to ask me how it does it now, aren't you? Uh, oh no, well, I was going to ask you a bit more of a spec. So okay. what, what range size have they got? Okay, so now as it stands at the moment, this is just one machine. It's yes. the VCN 700, but I wouldn't be surprised if they expanded on this product range, um, although I don't know that at the moment. But it has got that 700 millimetre in the Y axis, over a metre in the X axis, perfect for those kind of die boxes that are around about yeah, 650, 690 millimetres You're in beating size. me to it, because I'm asking you what industries, and you said die and mould, but any others? I think that the, um, the industry could be very broad because of the nature of the fact that it does this dynamic milling. A lot of industries are now focusing on, on new strategies to remove metal and that's where this is it's about as we can hear here it's about metal removal and they've what the way they've built this machine just to answer your question about the industries is is they've, they've built it in a way that it's structured to handle very heavy duty machining heavier parts on the table um, they, they, this this machine's got like pretension ball screws it's got cooling around the spindle it's got cooling in the ball screws as well oh, wow. so very very agile um, it's a c-frame construction but it's actually gone a-frame column which means a lot of the weight is at the base so it dampens out any vibration when you're machining all of those things are really really important to manufacturers not just to machine like one-offs like this but to keep doing it continuously and of course and I know I'm, I'm, I'm nattering and nattering but it reduces uh, or increases tool life because you've got a harder and stiffer construction as well so many factors through spindle coolant is supported on this machine yeah, loads of stuff. They need to contact Mazak for more information because this is a bit of a teaser, but there is so much more There's as well. so much more. that I mean, the control, choose 540 metres a minute of, of code, which is unbelievable. Wow. So uh, you, this machine will never have something that you suffer with, which is starvation, and that's what you can't <laughs> have on this machine. It will not be starved of code. Um, you know, the machine's quick, but the, the control can feed it. And it's all built here in Worcester in the UK.